What's up guys, my name is Ace, and continuing on the theme of people just getting this game for the first time for Christmas here, I'm going to be recommending my top 6 beginner guns to use in Black Ops 3. This is designed more so for the people that are just getting into the game for the first time, and I want to try to give them as many advantages as possible going into this game, because they are going to be up against a lot of veteran players. Keep in mind, the guns on this list are my personal opinion, but they are based on the facts and statistics, and I will explain why I chose each one of these guns. Also, I made sure that I only chose guns that are unlocked within the first 20 levels of the game, because beyond that 20 levels, you're no longer a brand new beginner, and that's more so what this video is designed for. Let's get into it. Alright guys, these are going to be in no particular order, but let's just start with the assault rifles, and the first one I'm going to recommend is the ICR-1. Now the reason I recommend the ICR-1, it's not the highest damage assault rifle out there, it's not the fastest killing assault rifle out there, but it's the most consistent assault rifle out there, at least for the first 20 levels of the game. You unlock the ICR at level 16, and this thing is a laser beam, it has almost no recoil, and that's what I really like about this for beginner players. When you have recoil, that adds a lot of random factor. When you take that recoil away, now when you're missing a shot, it's because you're missing a shot, not because there's a lot of recoil, and therefore you can easily correct for that. And this is something I really like about this gun. The important thing to know with this gun though, is it's a low damage assault rifle, and therefore it takes four shots to kill, even right up close. So you don't want to be challenging SMGs or other assault rifles right up close, you want to try to keep your gunfights at sort of a mid to long range. This is really well suited to a slightly more passive playstyle. Next up, we have the assault rifle that's kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, or at least somewhat on the opposite end of the spectrum, and that is the KN-44. So the KN-44 does great damage out to a decent range, so you have a nice three-shot kill range with the KN-44, and therefore you can comfortably challenge a lot of SMGs up close, because you can just kill so fast with that three-shot kill range, but it's also good at sort of that mid-range, even when you get over towards where it's like a four-shot kill range, it's still a good gun if you can manage the recoil. The thing with the KN-44 is it does have moderate recoil, so play around with the ICR, play around with the KN-44 to find out which one is right for you. Personally, I don't mind a little bit of recoil, I can control it, so I prefer the KN-44, but if you're somebody that wants to eliminate that sort of random factor, the ICR is going to be a better bet. The nice thing with the KN-44 though, is it's unlocked by default right when you get into the game, so you don't have to get to level 16 first. And also, it is by far the best gun in the game to use a suppressor on. So those are the two assault rifles that I'd recommend right from the beginning of the game. Now let's move on to SMGs, and the SMGs in this game are arguably the most powerful class of weapons in the game, so these ones are going to be very good to use just based on the map design and everything. And the first one I'm going to recommend is the CUDA. The CUDA is unlocked by default right at the beginning of the game, and it's a very versatile SMG. It does have a three-shot kill potential, which means right up close, this gun is excellent. It kills very quickly, but it's not a super long three-shot kill range. But even once you get into the four-shot kill range with the CUDA, it's still an excellent gun, and it even competes with a lot of the assault rifles when you get to that mid sort of range. Obviously, it's not the best gun to be challenging people across the map, but you do have quite a bit of versatility with this gun because you still can challenge those mid-range gunfights very effectively. So definitely, when you first get the game, give the CUDA a shot and I think you'll like it. Moving on to the next SMG, I'm going to recommend the VMP. This is one of my favorite guns in the game, and again, just like the CUDA, it's unlocked right at the beginning of the game. You don't have to level up to unlock it. And it is awesome. It really kills quickly up close. It has a great fire rate. But one thing to consider is it does have pretty high recoil. The nice thing about the recoil though is it's almost completely vertical recoil, so it'll kick straight upwards. Because it's so predictable, it's pretty easy to control. Basically, I just recommend aiming a little bit lower than you'd normally aim on somebody, so instead of aiming for their chest, maybe aim down towards their stomach a little bit more, and kind of walk your shots up as you fire full auto at them, and you'll be killing them very quickly just due to the fast fire rate of this gun. This one definitely allows for a little bit more spray and pray kind of playstyle, so if you're not super confident with your accuracy, you can kind of just spray your enemies down with this gun, and you've got great fire rate, great magazine capacity, there's a lot of really good things with this gun, and I highly recommend giving it a go. 
Unlike the CUDA though, with the VMP, just know that it's not so great at trying to challenge those assault rifles once you get to that sort of mid to long range. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to be point blank all the time with the VMP. Just know that if somebody's at a decent range and they have an assault rifle, you can't really get away with it as well as you would be able to with the CUDA. Next up, let's move on to the LMGs. And there's only one LMG that I'm really going to recommend for a beginner class, and that is the Dingo. I feel like the Dingo is really underrated and really underappreciated in this game. You don't really see it around too often, but I love this gun. For the LMG class, it doesn't have the best damage, but it has the best rate of fire by far, has the best aim down sight time, has the best reload time, and it's just overall an awesome gun, in my opinion. The nice thing with the Dingo is even though it takes four shots to kill at most ranges, it's a very forgiving gun. You can basically just spray in the direction of your enemy and destroy them. And that's unlike a lot of the other LMGs in the game where you have to be super precise, and if you aren't precise, you are losing all of the advantages of your gun. Like the Gorgon, for instance, yeah, it's a two-shot kill at almost any range, but as soon as you miss, like, two shots, there goes your time to kill advantage. It's basically thrown out the window. Whereas with the Dingo, you can kind of just spray at your enemy. It's a pretty accurate LMG anyways, but you can spray towards your enemy, and if you miss a couple shots, it's no big deal because you have that great fire rate and an excellent magazine capacity as well. So give the Dingo a chance, and you just might love it. So the final gun that we're going to be covering isn't actually a gun. I know, I kind of deceived you there. I'm sorry, but I highly recommend running the Black Cell Launcher, especially as a beginner coming up against a lot of veteran players. Now, the people that have been playing since launch are probably going to get a little bit upset with me for recommending this because it's going to be shutting their streaks down, but I'm here to give you guys the most advantages possible right from the get-go, and therefore I highly recommend running the Black Cell or at the very least the XM53 Launcher. As a beginner player playing against people that have played the game for a while now, you are likely going to have a lot of score streaks called in, in against you. So UAVs, wraiths, raps, whatever, haters, tons of different things are going to be called against you, and you want to be prepared for that. So just put that launcher on your class. You have four rockets with the Black Cell launcher, and every time you die, just look up to the sky, shoot down a UAV or two, just shoot stuff down. It makes great score for you, which makes the leveling up process a whole lot faster, plus you can work your way towards score streaks a little bit better, and you're also helping your team out and helping yourself out by making sure you're staying off the radar if you're constantly shooting those UAVs down, or by killing their lethal streaks so they can't kill you more. So I know, I kind of lied, it's not a gun, but I highly recommend using a launcher on your class, especially when you're first starting out at the game. So there you have it, there's my top 5 plus 1 guns to use in Black Ops 3 for beginners. Remember, like I said, this was all my personal opinion, and I'd like to hear your guys' opinion in the comment section below from the people that have been playing the game for a while now. What do you think are the best beginner guns to use in the game? And just use the criteria that I use. Make sure it's unlocked before level 20. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.